Hello everybody, Ken here from Happy Creatures. Wanted to have a, put a little video on for everybody to show you uh, what you can do if you have a Razor scooter and you've either lost or the uh, or if the charger's broken. How you can charge these things? This is a 24 volt, so you can't just plug a car car battery charger into it. You're going to have to do something different for this one. So we're going to put on our safety glasses and go inside here and find out what we can do. So the first thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. In this case, I've removed all the screws already except for just a couple, so it was taking a second to get inside here and show you what we have to do. So, taking these off. Alright, we have an animal on the scene here. Come around so you can, they can see you if you're going to make noise back there. Alright. Alright, now we are done with this. So we've got this off. What you're going to see right away, you have to take off two more screws. In this case, since I do this quite a bit, since I have to charge this for the kids from time to time, I've already got this one loose. I just got one over here for safety purposes so that it holds those batteries in place once we have the, uh, the entire um, deck back in place here. So what you're going to see is you're going to find two batteries, two 12 volt batteries in here, and they are crossed to 24 volts. And the way they do that is they put one negative on one battery to the positive of another. So I'm going to hold these up and hopefully you can see what I mean here. In this case we have, right here we have, I've, read, I've went ahead and I've gone ahead and just straight up hooked them up so that it's easy for you to see what, what they have going on here. What, this is very important. The most important thing about charging these batteries is you're going to have to get these off 24 volts, get them down to 12 volts so you can use your car charger. So this plug-in right here, this would normally be two plug-ins that go to um, a fuse over here. We've discontinued the fuse because it used to blow all the time and the fuse went bad so we, we, we bypassed the fuse we haven't had any problems with it so that's how we run it. So this cord right here would go to double to a, a, a excuse me it's on this side it would go down to a, a cord right here you'd have to unplug both of these from one central plug down here. So you'd unplug so the first thing you do is take the red and black that are going to each other which would be going down to that fuse and unplug them. So there. Now we've just made these batteries back to 12 volts when we did that. So now we're going to unplug the batteries from their other main pole over here and we're going to bring them right out of here. Now you can see they're not attached to anything. Now we have a charger right here. And for the sake of the, uh, what I use, uh oh, where did I put them now? Here they are. And what I'm going to use to, uh, to put these batteries into series so that we can charge them at the same time here with this with this battery chargers I'm going to use these little jumper cables they're actually um, prods for one of those electrical testers but we're just going to use it today for this purpose because it works great and what we're going to want to do is we're going to put both threads from the batteries together so that we can charge them so in this case we can see that there's a red coming up right here and we know that this one right here is a red and we have a red right here so we can just plug this one right into the red and now we have both the 12 volt, um, I'll just plug it in here. Now we have both the reds together. Then in order to charge that, what we'll do is we'll just stick this in here, which will connect both of them together. And then we can take this one here and that'll be running both of our positives. Our red, our red positive lines will be able to charge right through this one right here. Now we're going to do the same thing with the black. We have a little more complication here with the black one because it has a, um, it has a plug-in where we have the, the, the inside part of the receptacle on this side, so we're going to have to be a little more creative for that one. So, um, for the black, we're going to, um, we're going to, what did I do last time? I've only done this a few times, folks. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to poke, um, we lost our red. Okay, so we're going to poke this and we lost our red. We don't have, they don't have to be super tight or anything. They just need to make contact with both reds. So we've got our, our uh, red together there. Now we're going to take the black one and I'm going to...
poke this into here, like that. Oops, we lost our red hair. All right, no more of that. Okay, we got that the one we want. Now we got a black here. We just got to poke this one into this one, which I'm going to go through the back side here to keep them away from each other. Now we just need to take our rechargeable, our charger here, and we want to get just like it looks here. We want to put this side on the red, so we'll put that right on there. We want to keep the red and black away from each other, and we'll cause a, a little bit of a light show, which isn't, isn't terribly dangerous, but not a lot of fun and hard on the nerves. So we're going to do this. We have black here. We have two blacks, the two black uh, negatives attached together here. We're going to put this one right on this one. So that it's touching that metal right there. Right there. See that? We're going to place that right there. And move away from the scooter a little bit. Now that we know we have the black, the negatives and the positives separated, we're ready to charge this thing. So now we just need to plug in this uh, charger here. We've got a line right here ready to go. And so, table check one more time. And then we're going to plug this thing. Oh yeah, let's make sure this charge is on the right setting. 2 amp, 12 volt, that's what I'm looking for. So now, we're plugging this in. We can see if our... If our batteries are charging by looking at the uh, gauge there, it's showing that they're charging. It looks like they are probably about 75% charged already. So we're going to come back to this in a minute and we're going to let this charge for a couple hours. We'll come right back with this, uh, to this video. Uh, we'll make a second video. It'll be part two where we'll put the batteries back in and we'll take the scooter on a test drive. Thanks for watching.